Hey everybody, just a quick video announcing that Logic 10.5.1 was released today. And I can't tell you how awesome it feels that they are putting out this update so quickly after the 10.5 version came out. They've been doing this uh, in the last couple big versions, but I, it's just there's always been this fear from Logic users that they're going to be abandoned at some point by Apple. And it just doesn't feel like that's happening these days. Here are the release notes for 10.5.1. These are all stability, reliability, bug fixes for this new version. As you might imagine, the biggest section would be for live loops. That's the brand new section. Uh, you know, they have testing that happens before releases, but the minute it goes worldwide, uh, there's a lot more essentially testing going on. So we find a lot more things. So there's been a number of fixes for live loops, just making sure the little details work. We have some overall stability and reliability things, a whole list of things that no longer cause logic just to crash. If yours hasn't crashed, then um, I guess count yourself lucky, but here's a bunch of things that could have caused it. And I was looking through this and noticed that, I mean, I haven't had it crash once since I installed 10.5, but I have had some issues and a couple of them that uh, I noticed were fixed here. So a performance thing, some accessibility with voiceover, all the live loops things, a number of small little things for the sampler and quick sampler, uh, things that, uh, you know, you might have thought just were maybe glitchy or something you were doing wrong, but, uh, you know, not playing the correct uh, sample when it's, or the slice when you're in slice mode. Uh, let's see, a number of things with dragging and loudness detection. A few things with the drum machine designer. So they're getting that not nailed down. And um, I did notice here... It's now possible to join drummer regions together, which is uh, which is kind of cool. Not sure if that was a bug or a new feature exactly, um, since I haven't done that as much. But I think at one point I was trying to do this and couldn't figure it out. And now we're going to be able to do it, it says. Uh, I think a number of flex time and pitch things are taking us back to where we were before. Meaning I you know, did notice a little bit of a drop in quality in certain uh, situations and those seem to be fixed. Now some third party software instruments should be working better. And um, some stuff with uh, the plugins inside Logic like Retro had a little thing. And uh, when you're dragging the gain for a band and the EQ suddenly cause it to jump sometimes. Let's see. Key commands. This one I noticed from around the web a little bit. You couldn't do key commands while your mount, mouse button was pushed. Uh, that's useful, for instance, if you were dragging some audio and doing a key command during that or just had the mouse button pressed for other reasons. It wouldn't work, but now it does. Automation. I think there's something cool about automation here uh, with the meta parameters. If you know anything about the whole way audio unit plugins are designed, you can now have a greater possibility for automation. That doesn't apply to most of us, but it could down the road with design. Some editing, smart tempo, takes comping, import, global tracks, track stacks, and then a bunch of general things. Um, a few things for when multiple projects are open. Uh, I don't usually work too often with multiple projects, but I have sometimes, and it's been a little quirky. I also noticed that their release list here has some bugs of its own. I mean, just wrong words or duplicate words. So kind of ironic that Logic's release notes for a bug-fixing release has typos, but, you know, it's you know professional product, sure. And some other stuff I noticed if you're bringing in older projects, there was a few things that were better. Um, overall, I just, it's just so great to see the list of things that they're going to be continuously working on. 
And, you know, excited to see what 10.5.2 brings and uh, which new features they're going to eventually release, not just which bugs they're going to fix. You will notice that there's not that many of the ancient bugs that people talk about on here. And, you know, that kind of stuff means to me that it's going to take either huge fixes to do it or they're just not going to. And you'll need to find ways to work around them. Some of the plug-in compensation delay, things like that. Anyway, just thought I would put this out here tonight while this was fresh. Go download it anytime. I mean, there's always a chance new things to go wrong, but there's not a lot of new features. They're just making it more stable, more reliable with less bugs. So what could go wrong, right? Okay, hope you're having a great night and I will do another video in a day or two.